How's it hanging, guys? This is the Pikachu 176, and I am doing just a how to on how to take off the visor on this WoW uh, green star design helmet from Amazon. I don't know what model this is, but I saw extra pairs of, um, that was a weird hiccup. I saw extra pairs of visors for this, and I just wanted to, well, I don't, I don't even know if it's the same visor, because I don't even know what model it is, but if it is, I'll put the model name in the title, and I'll also put the, um, visor links in the description below also, but, uh, moving along, this helmet's really freaking great. It fits me really nicely, and uh, it was based on the description or the size description that the uh, sellers gave, which actually worked out pretty well. It was like uh, something to 22 inches was medium, which is what I chose because my head was around. Uh, it was just a little, uh, yeah, you know, let's just say it was around the 22 mark, and it this oval, lovely oval shaped helmet <laughs> fits nicely on my head. Uh, moving along, so the first thing you're going to want to do obviously is lift up the lid all the way. I am not on a solid base. You probably want to do this on like a table or something. Just kidding, you'll scratch the helmet. If that's, or scratch the bottom of the helmet, it's up to you. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, man. Alright, anyways, let's see if I can get a good picture of this. So if you see a tab right there, the little thing sticking out, that's a release mechanism that moves this way. You can even see, I think you can see it from here, this little arrow saying you go this way. And when you do that, you're going to make sure you use your fingernails, though, because you can't, it's very hard to move with your thumb, like, just by itself. You're going to use your fingernails. And when you pull this way, at the same time, you're going to move up with your fingers right here. And you may or may not hear, like, a, a popping sound, which is the, uh, a tab coming out of this area because when you pull this it's a release mechanism and or, you know, I'll just show you later because there's a tab up here on the top of this circle which is very hard to see it's on the visor there's a tab here and a tab here the top part tabs into the helmet and the tab down here tabs into this thing which is <laughs> released when you pull it back anyways so you want to pull this back push it up there we go and now I just want to pull this downwards towards the front of the helmet, but downwards, or just downwards in general, JK, and just comes right off. Easy as pie. So there's the little tab I was talking about, or the uh, insert area, I guess you could say, and the other tab goes into here, so when you pull this out, that allows the tab to be pulled out from where it is, and it's, it's all golden. Other side, I don't know, I always start out with this side right here on the right side of the helmet, or I don't know how you want to say that. I say right side. You, If you're looking this way to the left side, I always start out on this side because it's easier. And then this side's just completely freaking wonky, although that's probably because you've already taken off one of the sides. But anyways, oh god, the other side. Once you get off one, it's easy, but the other side's kind of a pain in the butt. So like I said pull this way or pull where the arrow was pointing if I can find it uh, you can barely see it from this angle uh, there it is kind of it's pointing this way pull this way pull up with your thumb or whatever whatever finger you're using oh <laughs> it didn't make a noise that time oh if you heard a noise that was from this the, the pulling mechanism it makes a noise on this side I don't know why but um, then you just pull this up, may or may not hear a snap, depends on your helmet, or your visor, and then just pull downwards towards the front of the helmet and it comes right off. And so now I'm going to show you the tabs I was talking about. So there's the first uh, insertion area, I guess you could say. There's the second. And if I pull up the visor here, fucking breaking it right now. So it would be like this, or up, I guess, if we had it up like this. And if you look here, same side of the visor, same side of the helmet, there's the top tab where my uh, ring finger is pointing. You can really see it on the light there. And that goes into 
that little insertion area over there. And the bottom one goes into here. When you pull it down, it creates room for this to be put in there. And then when you pull it back, that allows room for it to be pulled up or pop up, depending on which side you pull on first. And then putting it on is pretty fairly simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, which side do I normally start on? Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I guess I'll start on this side because this side's a pain in the freaking butt. Just kidding. It's kind of hard to explain putting it back on, but basically you're going to want to stop, start from the top to the bottom this time. So work in reverse because it's a whole lot easier because all this has to do is just pull back by itself and then it'll go in. You don't need to pull the tab or anything like that. So first you're going to want to get it lined up like how you pulled it out with the visor up and the tabs are aligned. So top to top, bottom to bottom. And so if I'm right, if I can find it, well, so this is like this, the top is right there, the bottom's right there. Get the top lined up right here, right here. And this is very hard on the bed because freaking visor won't do what I want because I'm on a bed. Not advised. Do, don't do this on a bed. Don't be a dummy like me. Um, here, hold on. I'm going to put the camera down for like five seconds so I can get this in place because I'm on a bed, which makes it hard. All right, there we go. Or not. Yep, there we go. All right. Oh, man. So get this like this. Get the thing lined up and... You're going to want to make sure it's flat-ish. I guess you could see here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's not lined up, lined up with the uh, mechanism right here. You'll know what I'm saying when you look at it. So it has to be perfectly lined up, and you'll hear that. you hear that little thump, and that's it going into place, the bottom tab going into place, and the release mechanism right here kind of moved, and that means that it's ready to pop in. So all you have to do is just press down, and then your snap, bada boom, miss in. Move on to the next one, another one. Uh, so this one's easier now because it's not flopping all over the place because I'm not on, the, well I am on the bed, but I'm not, you know, the other side isn't moving around on the freaking bed. So get the top, I'm lined up with the top here, fairly simple. And then... I saw the mechanism move, so that means it's in place. Or you could look under, which is kind of hard from the camera, but yeah, with your eyes, you should be able to see it go into place right there. And then I heard it, a little thump too, so all I have to do is just snap. There it is. It's all in now. See? Although I wouldn't suggest doing that because you're probably going to end up breaking it. Um, God. I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video or not. I'm very forgetful, but uh, yeah, basically uh, this model, I don't know what model it is because he didn't tell me. And yeah, uh, I'll put the model name in the title and I'll also put the links for the visors if this is the same model that those visors are in the description link below. Uh, hope you guys learned something new about your helmet and I'll see you guys later. Oh, oh, one more thing, though. I don't know if this was just me, but... Make sure you, uh... Never mind, never mind. You know what, never mind, never mind. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. It's nothing important. I was just being a dummy. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll, uh... See you guys in the next video, or... Actually, you know what? The next video will be probably an update on how this thing... Feels in the wind... Because if you don't press your lid down hard enough, it it's not rocket science. The wind's going to go in and you're going to be fucking die dying. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.